New details tonight about a major effort to clean up homeless camps in Austin. Cleanup started at the end of January, removing tons of trash and other items that have gotten into our water. KV's Molly Oak got the addresses of those 20 camps on that list. Molly, these are pretty spread out across the city. Yeah, Terry, Mike, we went ahead and really mapped it out for you. So here's a look at the 20 different sites. We visited about half of them today. You've got, let's see, number 11. That's that tunnel camp under East Riverside Drive near Willow Creek. We've taken you inside there a few different times. There's Campside Ladybird Lake. Even look at that, all those up in North Austin. That one was surprising to me because you typically think of homeless camps down in the South Austin area. Okay, the sites that are on our contract list are uh, high priority sites in that they have the highest flood risk not only to the individuals at encampments, but also uh, uh, in and around infrastructure that could clog from any debris that might be at encampments, mattresses, shopping carts, the clothes, possessions. And we saw all of that stuff, plus more at the camps we went to today. Jose Guerrero is with the Watershed Protection Department. It's heading up these 20 campsite cleanups. The homeless camps on the list are all illegal under city rules. Now this comes after a pilot program last year, which Guerrero says focused on nine locations for a six month period. Now during that time, he says there are about 37 cleanups done. He says along with this round of cleanups, Watershed is also connecting people to services. And he says they don't have an exact timeline of how long the cleanups will go for or how often they'll be done, but says staff will revisit and determine the needs of any follow-up cleanup. So, so far, the Watershed Department has been to about 10 of these sites. They hope to have another six done by the end of the month. But in just the first week, crews picked up more than four tons of stuff mm -hmm. at only three of the sites. The one that caught fire that we know you reported on, was mm -hmm. that on this list? No, it was not, but it is definitely a major camp, and Watershed has said that they're going to take care of that one as well. Okay, we appreciate all the updates, Molly. Thanks.